Okay, this is a quick uh, demo. I'm just running this virtual machine on a, a bit of software called VMware. I'm, I'm running this on a Mac, you see. I'm running a Linux virtual machine on my Apple Mac computer. I did try to use VirtualBox, which I've always used, but it failed. So, yes, I've got VMware working last night, and I loaded up Ubuntu 18.04, which is a... This is one of the flavors of Linux that I use. I use different flavors, which means different distributions, but I like to call them flavors. I use Debian, Suzy, Mandrake, uh, Red Hat, Gentoo, you name it, I use it. Uh, I, I like um, Manjaro, which is very good. But uh, what we'll do is, we're going to do this on Ubuntu, because if anybody's wanting to do any Linux training with me, then I would probably advise them to go with this just at the beginning. It's pretty mainstream, you get good support. You can use it commercially in your business for if you want a good, robust operating system. This one's supported for about four or five years of, of uh, updates, and it's solid as an up. It's very good. It's come on leaps and bounds, really. It's, it's ready, really, for companies to be using instead of buying expensive Macs like me. Or in, in fact, I've never run Windows in my life, and I've always tried to tell people not to run it. Where a lot of people say, well, I don't know what Linux is, but you're probably watching this on a Linux device now. If you've got an Android phone, then that is Linux. If you, you've probably got Linux on your telly as well. Anyway, this is a part of the videos that I'm going to be doing. This, is, this one just shows off demonstrations of different desktop environments that you can get on Linux. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight here. I'm not going to show you too much. I'm just going to go into them and let you have a little look at the different ones so you can see the variation of desktops that you could use. If you started using this, you could pick one of those or you could switch between a couple of them until you got comfortable. Uh, out of all the eight, the last one is a new desktop environment that I'm going to show you at the end. It's called Deepin. And it's it's very much like a different another one called GNOME, which I've been using from the beginning. GNOME's the one that I've always used. But Deepin's like a nice version. It's like a polished off, lovely operating system that's on its way on the up. But what we'll do is we'll start from the beginning. I'm going to start off with two or three lightweight uh, desktop environments, which say you've got an old computer down the cellar that's, that's like knackered and you think it's dead. It ain't. You can get Ubuntu and you can get a version of... Linux on there that will run on it quite smoothly uh, if you're using the right desktop environment. If you don't want all the bells and whistles and you just want to, I don't know, do some music production or whatever, you can kick it off with a, a nice, a nice uh, lightweight desktop. These even run on the Raspberry Pi, these ones. So let's have a look at the first one. So we click on my name and I've got the cog. You can see we've got XFCE session. That's what this one is here, Xubuntu session. So we'll go into that one first. And this is the first lightweight desktop and there we go very lightweight in fact there's hardly anything on it you got your trash your file system so you can see how your files look like that's what your files will look like you can browse your network and look at your pictures or whatever clock you've got a little menu up here somewhere was it gone oh, it's gone so we'll add a new one uh, panel panel uh, should be over here somewhere Close that down. Yeah, that's gone. That's that's built a new uh, launcher, don't we? Application menu. Stuck it over there. There. Oh well, that'll do. We're not bothered where it's at. We can. We probably might make a move. That move. Stick it over there. Get rid of that. That's a browser that I've just opened. My website. So there's your applications menu. You can move that along on the, on the top there. Should be able to just move. There. That's where it should be. Right. I put it back. I don't know where. I must have got deleted it by mistake. But there's your application menu. Done that again. I've opened that again, which you didn't want to do. Applications. You got the web browser um, settings. Your software, you can install software, you've got all your office packages and all that kind of stuff. Very, 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 very cut down. If you click on the desktop, you can get your desktop settings and you can change your backgrounds, blah, blah, blah. So that's that's XFCE. So we just go out of there. I'm not really enjoying it in here. Log out of there. Log out. As you can see, it's a bit boxy. The next one, which is lightweight, is... 
ICE Windows Manager, ICE WM. So we'll go and find that one now. There we are. Let's log in there. Wow. Now that's that's nice. For a light, a, a light Windows Manager, I like that. I could quite happily set up camp in there. You've got your... You can do your... Uh, your web browsing and these four you've got four different desktops so you can have different things open on different desktops if you click on that there that's your system monitor going on there if you go back to this one you go back and see firefox it's quite nice nice and easy to use nothing distracting you you can see what time it is and then you've got your little menu down here nice nice clean cut menu applications your themes focus i like that one i think that's a nice quite a nice little bit of kit that actually system Windows managers, uh, utilities, programs there, games, applications, whatever you want. So that's a ICE WM. Then let's try right. This one, <laughs> this one's a very cut down desktop. Um, a lot of designers use this, and it's good for if you just want to be in a terminal. Now, with me being in a, on a, a virtual machine, last night I had problems with this one. Where I ended up with two mouse mouse cursors. So if I do, we'll just we won't go too much into this one. Uh, I didn't change it. Let's just, let's just change it. This one's called Enlightenment. <laughs> I used to use this years ago. It's very. This is a new version. Can you see it's giving me two? Yeah, I've got two mouse pointers. I don't know why I've got this one up above. But you can see it's quite nice looking. You've got a few applications down here. Don't know why you've got oh, it's for your keyboard, speaker, your time. Don't know what the hell that one is there. That's a funny looking one. You've got your for switching desktops. And then you've got your menu here. Screenshot if you want. Change the themes and it's very cut down. Um, I haven't really messed around with this for a long time. I just put it on just for sake so that people could have a look at this because they might like the look of it. It's quite quite fancy. Do a log out of that one. And then I'm going to move on to one called Mate. Now you can download this as a distribution, full distribution. This is um, an old version of GNOME. It's a GNOME desktop, which I'm going to show you the, the new version in a minute. This is actually a GNOME 2, I think. Um, I like this. I like this desktop. I always have done. It's very clean. A lot of musicians use this for, for the recording because they, they've got a nice, nice ground here where you've, you've got a, a nice, a nice usable desktop. You know the file manager's all right. You've got your network. You can go on your network. You can, you know, you can see your network stuff there. You've got four desktops down here in the bottom, so you can switch desktops if you've got some open again on your on your first one. You can move to desktop one. You've got your rubbish down here, so you can empty your trash. You've got your clock, you've got your Bluetooth, email notifications, the time with a calendar. And you got your, you can add items to here. You can have all your, your mail buttons on here or whatever. Uh, the menu. I just don't like this noise. I would have to turn that off straight away. Why, they, why they've done that is beyond me. That's that's ridiculous. That, that needs to take it off. But the menu is quite good. It's quite a well-organized programming office. The control center is lovely. You've got um, you can have printers, additional drivers, Bluetooth adapters, keyboards, your network. You got firewall configuration built into it. I mean, wow, what a great desktop, and that's so lightweight. Okay, so then I'm going to move us on to its its uh, upgrade, if you will. If you oh god, the noises. If you've got like a slightly powerful machine. A mid mid range machine. The desktop that I use is a, a desktop called GNOME, and I've been using it since day dot. Uh, since I start, first started learning and using Linux was back in ninety five, ninety six, around that kind of time, and I've all been running that since then. It's, it's took a lot of upgrades since then, and it's so that's it. What you can do is you can do some really cool stuff with it. You can see you got this down here. Now there is some plugins that you can put into. You can use GNOME extensions, and what you can do is you can move that down here so that it looks like a a Mac a Mac uh, dock. You can do loads of crazy stuff like that. So you've got your applications there on the side uh, in your activities. You got your clock and obviously your sound and you can and all that kind of stuff. You can do your display settings. There you go. So you got your keyboards and all that kind of stuff. Uh, 
this might take us, yes, that's good, that's took us into here. You've got your backgrounds here. This is the main settings. This is all your resolutions, keyboards. It's quite, quite a nice bit of kit, sharing. You can share your desktop if you want, so it's got a remote desktop. Well, that's GNOME. Uh, that's what I would advise to use if you're looking for something slick. Uh, let's log out of here. Log out. Right, I'll tick that one off. Now, the main, the main major desktops that people tend to use if they're running Linux, and it has been like this for years, it's always been uh, two desktops, one called GNOME and one called KDE. So I've run them both for, for years. Uh, KDE is very nice, actually. I'll just type that in wrong. Let's try again. So if we just go to KDE, which has now got a different name, it's called Plasma. Don't ask me why, but it's KDE. The thing about KDE, it comes very well. It's a very good, very good desktop system, and it comes with um, its own office package, its own email package. It's very polished off. It's very different from. It's a different breed. Is this? It's very uh, in front of its time, if you will. I think if GNOME and KDE got together, they would be able to make something that was just amazing. But the, the problem with KDE is I, I find it's a bit desktop heavy. Um, oh, what the hell this is? That took quite a while to come in. It's pretty much similar to Windows. If you want to come across some Windows, if you like Windows, and this is quite similar in, 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 in the way of the menus. Um, I hate it. <laughs> Applications, you've got your favourites, so you can put all your favourites in there. If you go to here, you can, you've got your, your file browser. Um, you know, so you can do your network and you can see what you've done this say this month and save last month and last week and it's, it's got some nice little features in it I have to say that um, and you've got your applications so you've got your education it's all in again categorised your computer so you can do all your network and you can see all the stuff going on you can do a lot of stuff you can do a lot of stuff with uh, KDE for sure I don't know all that stuff there you can have widgets uh, analog clock if you want, stick it over there, I don't know, ding ding, you can put it, there's loads, you name it, you can do all sorts of stuff with, with these, you can monitor your hard drives, you know, and you can move them around, that one looks a bit, doesn't look right, does it? Anyhow, so that's, that's KDE, screen edges and widgets, it's very configurable, I don't know how you get rid of that one now, remove that one, it's a bit knackered, isn't it? So let's come out of there. That's quite heavy is KDE. Log out. KDE. Log out. Okay, and now I'm going to show you, before we go, <laughs> I'm going to show you what actually, if you download Ubuntu, you would get um, Unity. So if we just go to Ubuntu, this is what you will get. When you install it, this is the stock desktop environment it's very good it's very good it's it's pretty much bulletproof and it's got everything that you need uh it's got a nice you can auto hide this side but here you, you can install software it's got all the software packages you've got the trash there you press this and you get your all your your applications are down here at the side so you can get calculators you know it's all there it's it's very very simple to use. There's your apps, you can just click on what you want. Mind test games, cherry tree, raspberry pit, whatever. You click on it and it will install it for you. So that's Ubuntu. There's all your you can take these off and have new ones on there. File managers. File managers is very good. You've got your network, you can add network, you can add uh, SSH or FTP locations in there. It's it's the conquers really. It's as good as you're gonna get. So we just come out of there, log out, and then the last desktop environment that I'm gonna show you is my favourite. But I showed you at the end because it's not very good at logging out into. I don't know why. I haven't got time to mess around with it, but I just wanted you to see it. Yeah, so we've done them all. We've done it. XFCE, ICWM, we've done Mate, we've done Enlightenment. We've done GNOME, we've done KDE, and here's Deepin, Deepin, yeah. 
We'll go with effects mode. Come on, let's see you in action. There we are. Welcome, system updated successfully. Currently version 15. Oh, thank you. Oh, now, 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 look at this. Now, this is special. Okay, so I don't know what any of these do. We've got a launcher. Oh, there you go. So you've got your apps inside there. You can do voice recorders. Calendars are built in. Scanning, system monitors. You know, Deepin's got its own little packages built in. Look at that. I mean, I candy. Deepin is the one really, isn't it? If you're going to run it and you want to be cool about it, I would... Screen I would, reader on. Oh. I don't want the screen reader on. Okay. Yep, so, yeah, like I say, we've got the... I don't know where we've got settings here. What was that one there, then? You can see, you can see it's a... Uh, Pretty nice. Deep in is, uh, let's just try, move this over here, because we've got icons here. Let's just see what the, the file browser looks like. Not very happy, is it? Did I click it? Open. No. Done something wrong. Oh well, but at least that, that gives you like a little bit of a, a bit of an insight into it. It's not very happy at the moment. I've done, I don't know what the hell I've done. But my fans are running like hell. It's probably because I've got the VM going and I'm, and I'm recording at the same time. So, but that's um, all. That's that's all the desktops. Um, so if you if you want a, any questions on um, some training on getting this on your on your machine, then um, just just nudge me up. And uh, I can give you a run over. We can do stuff over. I can either take control of your desktop, or you can see mine. We can do all this stuff over over WhatsApp. And uh, I can design like a package, training package for you, where we can get you installing an operating system. The next the next one I'm going to do, I'm going to show some operating systems off. But we can get you installing an operating system, and we can get you installing a couple of desktop uh, environments from what you've seen from here. Uh, you can you can mess around a couple and see which one you like. And then, uh, and then obviously we can move on to other stuff like installing services. We can see what like media servers, download servers, uh, mail servers, web servers. And if you want to do any any coding, I can get you set up with a uh, Apache server with PHP and MySQL. The sky's the limit. Uh, we can get you set up with the gaming machines or gaming servers. You just ask. Uh, but that that gives you a bit of an insight of some of the desktop environments. So if you like what you see. And you want to you want to talk more about it? Then just drop me a message, and we can uh, put something together for you. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video.